So Alouida and I probably should have compared notes on the exact content of our presentation because there's a little overlap, but it's also all right because I want to make, I'll focus a little bit on some numbers and kind of where things have been over the past, I guess actually two years now since the first one of these. Um, who was here at the first Open Telemetry Community Day? One, two, three, I count. Wow, so all new faces, which is amazing. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that going uh, here in a second. So welcome to the Community Day. The first one of these was virtual. Um, it was held completely online. So I'm super excited that we're able to kind of bring this together in person with, uh, honestly, more people than I expected. Um, who knows? So I have just some brief remarks on kind of the state and size of the community and then some of the community focused endeavors that will be coming to you later this year. Um, a couple of brief announcements, and then we'll talk about the programming for the rest of the day and how you can uh, help define the breakout sessions and all that sort of jazz. So if you would like, there's also a Slack channel um, in the CNCF Slack where you can kind of interact with the virtual participants. Uh, if you're watching this virtually right now, hi, I see you. Uh, you can also tweet about the event using the OTELCD hashtag. So thinking back on the past like two years since the last one of these, we've mostly been on Zoom, right? I People look at my calendar and they kind of recoil in horror at the amount of meetings on the hotel public calendar. I also recoil in horror from the amount of meetings on the hotel public calendar. But that's what happens when you have this many SIGs and working groups, right? However, no pandemic can hold us back forever. And we did have a wonderful maintainers summit at KubeCon EU, which you can see here. Um, Maybe if the airlines had a little bit better observability, they would have figured out that you need more than one plane to get people out of Valencia. But, you know, <laughs> we'll work on that for next year, right? So I want to run some numbers. Some of this is stuff that you've already seen, but I dug down a little bit more. Um, I want to run some numbers based on what I looked at when we did this in 2020. So in 2020, I was super excited to announce we had over 1,400 contributors and over 110,000 contributions across all hotel SIGs, right? In 2022, that has increased over 5,300 individual contributors, over 450,000 contributions. So we've more than doubled the amount of contributors, and we've more than tripled the amount of contributions in two years, which is amazing from a project growth perspective. Keep in mind, in 2020, we were still the number two project behind Kubernetes and the CNCF. So not only have we you know, continued that sort of momentum, we've actually increased it over time. And the amount of people that are becoming involved in open telemetry and observability is really quite shocking to me as someone that has only been in the industry a little while you know, on the time scale. But when I started you know, four years ago, it's like people was like, distributed tracing, what's that? You know, and now it's kind of a household topic, right? assuming your household is full of software engineers. <laughs> I went too far in my slides. OK. On a rolling average, every 28 days, right? So I looked at the dev stats numbers. You know, it's good to see we've got like two, three times. But what does that actually look like on sort of a you know, more regular cadence? So year over year, we have 50% more people contributing to the project every month than we did this time last year, right? And not all of them are leaving, <laughs> like 25% year over year increase in episodic contributors. So people that are coming back and actually staying and embedding in open telemetry, right? So it's not just people coming in, filing a bug or fixing some docs or like submitting kind of one thing. People are actually staying and becoming kind of going on this journey with us, which I think is really important. And it's what uh, I'm most excited about really in open telemetry, because we're not just forming kind of this one-off thing where we're gonna go solve all these problems about logging and tracing and metrics and whatever. Like we're actually going to be doing, I, I feel like this is something that will continue to grow and really embed itself in the rest of the cloud native community and also be a really powerful tool for other projects in the cloud native ecosystem to be a part of. We've been starred over 13,000 times. Over 2,000 contributors have made a pull request, one of the 30,000 uh, pull requests that have been made. This is some stuff you've already saw about uh, top K industry contributors, top K end user contributors. Um, 
But I also wanted to point out top repos by activity. So this is pretty consistent actually over the past year. Uh, collector contrib, Java instrumentation, collector, spec, Java, .NET, Go, Python, JavaScript, and then the website. So it's actually really surprising. If you go look at this, it's actually very surprising what the delta is between like collector contrib, Java instrumentation, and then everything else. Um, a, lot of, a lot of Java devs out there really wanting to drop something in and have it work. We've got over 20 public adopters. So these are people that have kind of signed the uh, adopters table in our uh, community repo. But we know from analytics and usage shared to us by several vendor partners that we have thousands and thousands and thousands of actual users of OpenTelemetry, right? Um, this is all thanks to the you all, right? If you are a contributor, if you're a maintainer, if you are online or offline, if you have advocated for open telemetry, like you owe yourselves a pat on the back for doing this. And I really think everyone should give themselves a big old round of applause. The one thing I want to point out on my milestones is it took just over a year to get from OTLP metric stable to OTLP log stable. So good, good going on that one. Some, that said, um, we have a couple of cool things to announce that are more community focused, right? Alameda talked a little bit about sort of the overall roadmap, but I want to talk specifically about these four things. So one is the OpenTelemetry community demo, which is uh, being announced right now. I just sent the tweet, so it's official. But this is a product that uh, is being led by Carter and a bunch of people. We actually have a ton, ton of people on it. Yeah, you're back there. Like how many people, like, stand up. yeah, sure, stand up. How many people are in the meetings? Yeah, like 100 people have like signed on to this, which I guess means that it's a really popular idea. But this is effectively, we took the Google microservices demo and forked it, stripped out all of the kind of proprietary stuff or the Google Cloud specific stuff, and it's just pure open telemetry instrumentation. Um, and it's going to be a platform for end users, for developers, for people that are trying to kick the tires in Hotel to download this, run it, and actually see like what does it look like to have an open telemetry instrumented system, right? Um, so a blog post just went up about that. You can go read it on our website that will explain more details. Uh, the second thing I want to call specifically is the um, end user coffee chats that Char is helping put together. So those will be announced here shortly on the website with more details on how you can get involved. But really the idea is a place that, you know, one of the things that I have certainly noticed in the uh, great pandemic era of our times is that people don't really super feel comfortable about sharing failures on the internet. So this is like, hey, there's no recordings being done here. Everything kind of just goes away when you're done. So you can talk openly about like what's working, what's not working without feeling like people are going to dangle it over your head forever. Um, third thing, thanks to our friends at Honeycomb, the open telemetry website usage is now a public data set. So if you, uh, the open telemetry website is instrumented with open telemetry JS for the browser. And if you go to the open telemetry comms channel in Slack, Philip will surely send you a post a link in there very shortly about how to get to this, but you can actually analyze the user traffic of people that are coming through, see what pages are most popular, see how many people are actually going to the open telemetry website. So you, just useful information for everyone. It's unsampled data, so you can see like 100% of traffic. It's cool stuff. And finally, the, the great open telemetry omnibus documentation consolidation situation. So I have heard everyone, um, and we are doing something about the docs. So the basic, to give you a little backstory on this, the basic idea is OpenTelemetry.io was extremely unorth was not very authoritative for open telemetry search queries for a very long time. There were some technical reasons for this, and then there was some non-technical reasons for this. So what we have started to do is working with people that have kind of written docs for their company site, people that have written docs in other places, 
So we have a very specific focused effort on taking all of that general information, all that information that right now is scattered across 10, 20 different websites and putting it into the open telemetry website, still crediting where it came from. So no one's losing, you know, we're not stealing things. Um, but, and then as the open telemetry documentation matures, then we are going, then we are getting agreements from the vendors that are putting, doing their open telemetry docs to sort of redirect their users to our stuff, right? So that over time we can actually have a consolidation and the official source of truth for docs will be upstream on the website. This kicked off in April. There's been an initial round of um, consolidation that's been completed that took documentation from Lightstep and New Relic and a few other places and kind of combined it. So you can go look at that now. It's all the concept stuff. If this is interesting to you, if you'd like to help if you are a vendor and you would like to create white label open telemetry content um, that can be featured on the open telemetry site, please come see me or reach out in Hotel Comms. But this is our biggest priority in the docs website side of the world is improving the doc situation because it's um, hurting adoption, quite honestly. So please be patient and kind if you are a SIG maintainer and we come to you with what you feel like may be an unreasonable demand. Second thing I'd like to announce is the ambassador program is officially looking for open telemetry ambassadors. So it used to say open tracing, but now it says open telemetry. Ah, the power of asking politely for innocuous things. If you would like to become a CNCF ambassador about open telemetry, then you can go on their website and apply. You can also come ask me and I can help kind of shepherd that through. But this is effective. If you are familiar with the ambassador program, you know, it's that, but you'd be focused on um, open telemetry and probably other observability um, topics such as Prometheus and Jaeger and da 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 da. Mm, excuse me. So, that said, that was sort of the what's new in the community world. Um, the next thing is to talk about the rest of today. So what we have here, if you see to my left, is we have a big board and we have some post-it notes. So during this break, um, what I would like everyone to do is come up and either write a topic that you would in be interested in having a breakout session about, or if there's already a topic up there that you'd be interested in participating in a breakout session about, please leave like a mark um, using the uh, whiteboard mark or using the markers down there, like leave a mark next to the card or on the card. And what we're going to do is that'll be open till lunch. And then at lunch, we're going to go and tally all those up, rank them and determine the breakouts for the rest of the day. Right? So again, go up, write, a topic you want to talk about, you know, this could be something that maybe only a few people want to talk about. It could be something that everyone wants to talk about, right? Um, we will sort of order them and figure out where we need to kind of set up official breakouts and where we need to do kind of like ad hoc breakouts, right? With that said, I believe it is time for our first break. So again, um, thanks to everyone for coming. I love the CNCF for helping us make this a possibility. Um, thank you very much and see you around the rest of the event.